He has lost only to the best. On the plus side, he has beaten off friend Floyd Patterson and also Ron Lyle and Matt Foster when they came to Madison Square Garden undefeated. Ernie Shavers is on his way in the ring now. Here comes Ernie. He's the question mark in this fight. We know what Quarry can do, but how about the man you're looking at now? We know he can hit, but can he take it? His KO of Jimmy Ellis was a sensation, but just before he KO'd Jimmy at the Garden with one punch last June, Ellis seemed to stagger him. If Shavers can hit Quarry solidly, he's got a great chance. Ernie has won 46 of his 48 bouts with two losses, won a KO by Ron Stander, but that was long ago. Now get this. Shavers has scored 45 knockouts in his 46 wins, 18 of them coming in the first round. He's won 34 fights in a row, and he's ranked number six in the division. Ernie stands six feet one inch tall and was born in Garland, Alabama, August 31st, 1945. He now lives in Warren, Ohio, and he's the same age as Jerry Quarry. Ernie Shavers. Ohio. Arthur McCanty, one of the top referees on the staff of the New York State Athletic Commission, will be the third man in the ring. He's in the corner, the neutral corner just above us, where Shavers is bouncing around and Quarry is taking things more quietly. The judges, the veteran judges, Jack Gordon and Bill Recht. The knockdown timekeeper will be Herbie Kronowitz. The timekeeper, Fred Apatello. The New York State Athletic Commission is composed of Chairman Eddie Dooley, Robert Sherwood, and Emmanuel Gonzalez. And the boys are patiently waiting. Got a little bit more than a minute to go before the fight gets underway. I'll repeat the scoring again on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the cards our, uh, the points come out even on an official's card. The scoring is done by the referee and two judges. The mandatory eight count is in effect. That's important in a heavyweight bout, of course, or in any bout. So is the three knockdown rule. If a man is floored in, uh, three times in a round, he's considered knocked out. And the count continues. If a man is floored at or near the ringing of the bell, he must arise by the count of 10, even though the bell is sounded, except in the last round. In other words, he cannot be saved by the bell. Ernie Shavers on the right-hand side of the ring, Jerry Quarry on the left. Very few people uh, expect this bout to go the limit, Floyd, and it shouldn't, I suppose, but nevertheless, I've seen bouts where the punchers uh, punched themselves out or punched their opponents out and uh, the bout somehow or other went the distance. Yeah, it's quite possible. It could happen. It's not likely, though. <laughs> uh, these men, both men, punch too hard, in my opinion. I noticed uh, Quarry in his uh, training was uh, concentrating on short punches. He, he was working his way in close, and I thought he did one thing that uh, could be costly if, if he's uh, caught. He, he, he used to drop his head before he punched. Yeah, but he has a new trainer, I believe, or manager. Uh, Ready to go up to Joe Bostic, the ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the feature event on this evening's boxing program from Madison Square Garden, world's most famous sporting arena. The distance, 12 rounds at stake, an improved position as an outstanding challenger for the world's heavyweight championship the officials assigned by the new york state athletic commission the timekeeper freddie aviatello the judges are bill Reck and jack gordon counting for the knockdowns at the bell herbie Connolly. third man in the ring at this time mr arthur mccanty the principals in this feature event of the evening coming to us 
from Cypress, California, at one, two hundred and two pounds even, he's wearing green trunks, trimmed in white, Jerry Curry, Jerry Curry. Big hand for Jerry. And from, and from Warren, Ohio, 210 pounds even, He's wearing blue trunks, trimmed in white, Ernie Shavers, 12 rounds. Shavers was smiling at Quarry, and Quarry was very serious. Here are the instructions by the referee. This contest for 12 rounds will be governed by the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. We expect you to obey these rules. I'll be here to enforce them. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically end the contest. Now, you meant break when you're told to break. You will be penalized if you do anything illegal. Shake hands now. Re One question. Gil Clancy asking a question about the height of Shaver's trunks. Referee lowers them a little. <laughs> Ready now for the punch fest. Quarry the green trunks, Shavers the blue trunks. Referee Arthur McCandy, the bell, round one, is scheduled for 12. makes the first clinch. Shavers scoring heavily. warned about grabbing behind the neck. Shavers back to the end. He might have been hurt. He is hurt, apparently. Yeah, he's hurt. picks up his new manager, Gil Clancy. Here comes the announcement. That was a spectacular win for Jerry Quarry. A very a sensational win. I think now Jerry Coy will probably go right in line for a shot at the heavyweight champion, minutes, George Foreman. 21 seconds, first round, referee McKinney 
Sorry to take any further beating. He stood in the corner as though he didn't know what was going on. He didn't I know thought. his eyes were glassy and he was defenseless. It was best to stop it at that time. Bob. Okay, thank Arthur, thank you. Let's get Jerry over here. Here's Jerry Quarry. I got to Jerry, I got to say, you look like Jack Dempsey in there. Uh, Jerry Quarry. Hey, he's got a hard hit. I hurt both hands. You, you, you hurt both hands? Did he hurt you? No. I thought he did. He didn't hit me. Uh, yeah, he, hit you, he hit you, Jerry. Win. Early in the win. Jerry, come on. Hey, we don't, we he don't, he don't have one. He didn't hit me at all with any decent well, shot. What do you think hurt him most with my left you? hook? The left hook. Yeah. yeah. Here's Ernie Shaver. Ernie, come on over here, huh? Here's Ernie Shaver, who must be very disappointed. I just got hit. Bro. Ernie, what happened? I just got hit with a shot and never got recovered. You, you got over there in the corner. You didn't seem to know yeah. what was going on. I got hit with a good shot and couldn't recover. That's all. You hit him a good he shot. Yeah, he's a very good fighter. He's, he's a, he's a, he's he hit him with a good shot. shot. He's a very good fighter. All right, Ernie. Thank you. Good luck. Here's Gil Clancy. Gil, uh, I got to offer you congratulations. You may even be manager of the year or something because uh, you, you've done wonders with Quarry. He's got a new zest for fighting, hasn't he? Well, he sure has, Don. He worked real hard for this fight. We were very disappointed with the postponements, you know, and the grind of waiting and waiting and waiting.